Alright, hello folks. Another lot of golf ball logos I've bought of somebody. I'm just going to get to it. Let's get stuck in and film. This is the very first time I've ever looked at these in my life. Um, let's go. So I'm going to film each ball. Um, St Andrews, Scotland. And I'll film what type of ball it's on. So that's on an unbranded ball. The logo's on both sides of the ball. Ball looks to be very good condition. Next, these balls all, these are not what I'd call mint condition. These are all used, a lot of them look fairly dirty. They might clean up if I gave them an even more thorough scrub, but a lot of them, if you know what I mean, some golf balls, they don't clean up any more than this. Golf Barrier de Ville. Okay, never heard of that. That's a Titleist DT True Soft. In need of a bit of a clean. Next, the Berkshire. Presumably that's a golf course in England. Titleist, DT True Soft. Balls, that's pretty decent condition, that one. A little bit of a nick, but anyway. I'm filming these. I'm just filming every golf ball logo I've got. In case one day maybe I'll sell the entire collection, then I could just simply say to somebody, look, look at all these videos, and um, you'll see what I've got. And I won't have to write them down. They'll just be able to look at each one. So, Lip Hook Golf Club. Never heard of that. That's on a NXT Tour by Titleist with some of these markings on. And as I said in previous videos, markings can come off with a bit of um, nail varnish remover. <laughs> Top tip from me, but be careful, it might smudge. Next, oh God, what does that say? I think that might be supposed to say Camelback Golf Club. I've got a Camelback rucksack. Is there a place called Camelback? If there is, where is it? There's a picture of a camel, bit scuffed logo, some of these initials on there. Uh, Pinnacle Gold Precision. I don't know where these balls came from. I don't know where this person's collected them from. Next, what is this? Down, down Sheer Golf Club. And that looks like a practice ball that you get on a golf driving range. Well, that'll help me to ID where some of these balls have come from. Down Sheer Golf Club. Never heard of it. Next, Hawks Landing. Never seen that logo before. And that's, um, I'm not even going to say what the balls are now. It'll save me speaking so much. I'm just going to film it. Okay. Next, Harewood Golf Club. There's a picture of a swan on the logo. What does that say on the bottom? Downs. Harewood Downs Golf Club. Okay. Next. Boa Vista Golf. Boa Vista. Not heard of that. I'm just going to say that Pinnacle Rush is a type of ball I've not had before. So maybe you can date that based on that. I know I've never had any of those before 1991. Obviously, it's now 2021, so there's a big gap between when I was collecting balls. But um, and again, I haven't had anything before. Even 2005, I've got a few balls. So, um, yeah. That dates it to after 2005. Next. What does that say? Royal Automobile Club. RAC. Oh, well, that's in England. That's the people that come out if you um, pay for their membership to fix your car if you're broken down the side of the road. Uh, ball's not bad condition. I've paid. I've paid to be a member of them. Uh, the decent service level. You have to pay about 130 pounds a year for one person. Their car, um, but definitely worth having. They've got me out of a jam or two in the past. Next, Molden Golf Club. It looks like three fish as part of the logo. Molden. Where's Molden? Uh, that ball needs a clean. It's, as you can see, just as pinnacle. Next. Hailing Golf Club. Palmer. What does that say? Pauciorebus or something like that. Uh, is that supposed to be dolphins jumping out of the water around somebody? I think. Fairly nice logo. Very strange, bright yellow title list. With a bit of a, a little bit of a cut to it. 
but um, logo is perfect. Next, that's a nice logo. Pine Cliffs Golf and Country Club, where is that? And that looks like a hoopoe bird, or is it supposed to be a bee eater? Looks more like a hoopoe to me. That's a bird that occasionally gets seen in England, but not very often. So logo's decent. Top flight Excel. Oh god, I'm saying it again, sorry. I can't help it. Stop reading everything. Right, so ball's a bit scuffed. Next. What is that supposed to say? Something golf club. Don't know what that is. Oh, and on the bottom, Millennium 2000. So does that date to the year 2000, this ball? Don't know anything about that one. Next. Sunning, Sunningdale. I've heard of that. I'm sure that's a golf course I've seen on TV. Sunningdale. Maybe they've had the Open there, English Open or something. Uh, again, ball is dirty. Next. Richmond Park. Oh, I know where that is in London. Glendale Golf. Richmond Park Golf Course in London. Richmond Park is famously has lots of deer running around. Uh, you can see the type of ball, and it's got some of these markings. Okay, so somebody's got these from London then. Putnam Golf Club, established 1894 on that logo. Putnam is London, isn't it? I think. I don't think I've ever been there. Next. St Andrews. And whatever that's supposed to say at the bottom. St Andrews is a golf club in Scotland. Scotland is what it says at the bottom. Yeah, the, the logo is scuffed on both sides. And again, no type of ball to that. Next. West Surrey Golf Club, 1910. Logo is perfect condition. One of those balls again, nice bright yellow. And again, this ball looks very good condition. That's a decent one. Next, World Ham. Don't know anything about that company. Not sure if I've had that type of type of pinnacle before. Ball's pretty decent, needs a little bit of a clean. Next, oh, this is an interesting one. What does that say? Ashbury Golf Hotel. Ashburygolfhotel.co.uk. Okay. Quite a clutter of a a logo there, snooker, you know, what's that supposed to be, badminton racket, bowls, yeah, badminton, shuttlecocks, so they have a mixture of stuff going on there, and they have a range of different golf courses, look at that, and they even tell you how, how many, oh, that's a good logo, they've even got their phone number on there for you, there you go, well, there you go, that's a, that's a decent one, next, uh, Market Harbour Golf Club. That's in England. Logo is a little bit scuffed. And obviously, if I go too fast for you, just pause the video if you want to look at any of these in more detail. Otherwise, the video would take far too long. A Kushnet medalist. Yeah, you can see that's a bit pretty scuffed up there, boy. Next, Forest of Arden with a uh, acorn logo. So oak tree. Bull's not that bad condition, needs a clean. Next. Spoonie Classic 2005, Stoke Park Golf Club. Uh, logo is mm, not, not perfect. Next. Something golf club with uh, whatever that's supposed to be. Is that supposed to be wheat? Yeah, that logo is scuffed. Even that's scuffed. Don't know what that's supposed to say. Strix and anyway, that one's scuffed up. Next, Pelican Hill. That sounds more like a golf club in Southern America. Um, Feels like a blur to this ball. Pro V1X with a weird dimple design. Look at that, big and small dimples. 
strange that they've done that design now. Next. West Hill Golf Club, 1909. Next. Yeah, well, there you go, that's a range ball. That's not a proper logo. Hobridge Events Golf Family. Where's Hobridge? I don't know, but someone's nicked that from the golf driving range. <laughs> Next. Uh, what was that supposed to say? Uh, maybe that's a K at the side. Is it a K or a H? Hurlstone Golf Club, maybe. Logo's a bit scuffed up now. Okay, that's that one. Next. The Old Course St Andrews Lynx. That's a scuffed up logo. Next. Boa Vista Golf. Didn't I have one of these before or similar? Okay, ball's not too bad. Needs a bit of a clean. Next. Royal St George's with a nice logo, somebody riding a horse, looks like the devil riding a horse. Royal St George's needs a clean. Next, Bowwood Hotel. And some other words. Yeah, that's a bit scuffed up. Well, this collection there isn't. There's a lot of logos, but not exactly the stuff you'd want to put on your wall. The condition is not great. Uh, another one of these Putnam Golf Club balls. Yeah. I mean, you, you wouldn't display many of these at all. Marbella Golf Country Club. Marbella, Spain. Somebody's put their markings on that and that ball's really dirty. Next. They are oak leaves. Oak is a type of tree in England and they are acorns. And that is... Property of Oak Park at Cron Crondall. Never heard of it. Again, that looks like a practice ball. Next. What does that say? Whatever that is. Something like Clan Clandoy Regis Golf Club, not sure. Next. Milford Golf Club, 1993. Ball dirty. Next. Is that, is that M at the start? Morepulston Moore Golf Club, maybe? Never heard of it. Oh, no, it's a W at the start. Morepulston Golf Club. I think that's what it says. It's not too bad on that one. Next are another of these Lip Hook Golf Club. Again, Wheat, I think that's supposed to be. Next, Bishop's Wood. Uh, that's an unbranded type of ball. Next, Hindhead Golf Club. And that's obviously a deer. The logo's in pretty good condition. Ball needs a little bit of a clean. But yeah, that's not a bad one. There's a few good ones in this. A lot of them are not great at all. Golf Club Crans Circier. Canon European Masters. Presumably that's Canon, like the camera company. And on the top, there we go. Canon, yes, it is. That's definitely the camera company. So, Canon, that's a good logo to have. The ball's not perfect at all, but 
Canon's a good brand. They used to sponsor the Williams Formula 1 team. Next, Glen Eagles. That's a golf club in Scotland. Tour IX. I don't think I've had that type of ball before. Next, Pathero Golf Madeira. Wow. Let's go there one day. Ultra by Wilson. Oh, I'm saying it again. Ball is not bad, just needs a little bit of a clean. Logo's good, that's a good enough logo to display. Uh, what does that say? Something golf club, something like Pi? Is that, or Rye? R-Y-E maybe, Rye Golf Club? I'm not sure. Anybody knows, please tell me. Uh, you can see the type of ball. Okay, next. What does that say? Something Golf Club. Mont. Mont something Golf Club, anyway. Ah, I don't know. That's just the name of the ball. Okay, next. Cleveton Golf Club with a picture of a castle. I can't see a castle anymore without thinking of the really good Johnny Depp film about the devil and rare books. I just, I just need to check something. Right. Try and do as many as I can in this video. Old Thorns with a picture of a tree as a logo, kind of a silvery colour, silvery gold colour. Old Thorns, ball feels in good condition. Yeah, this is one that's in very good condition. Next. Northampton Golf Club. Northampton is a county in England. Not that far from where I live. Northampton. Okay, so that's that. Ball is... Yeah. He's a serious clean-up. Next. Ilfracombe Golf Club, founded 80, is that 1892? Yeah. And I don't know what time of bird that's supposed to be. 1892, that's a long time ago. Ball's not bad. Next. Marbella, again. Somebody's been going to Spain for their holidays. Next. Wurpelsden Golf Club. Ah, oh, that might be that logo of a previous ball that I could barely make out. Wurpelsden, maybe that was it. Ball's good condition, that one. It feels good. Next. St Andrews, Scotland. That might be the second one I've had of this. Or oh, I've had this in a different collection of golf balls. I'm sure I've had this. And again, unbranded ball. Next. Bishop's Wood again. Probably a, a range ball. Next. Black Horse Golf Club. Well, where's that? That's a nice logo. Quite like that one. All feels good condition. Probably needs a little bit more of a clean, but that's a nice one. Next. Maidenhead Golf Club. Founded 1896. Crikey. That's a long time ago. Judy Ganley Mixed Invitational. Now, when people print this on golf balls, do they give these golf balls away to the people that are taking part in that tournament? Can somebody explain to me, who, I mean, why do people print logos on golf balls? Do the balls get given away to people taking part in certain tournaments on a certain day at golf clubs, or do you still have to buy the balls? Let me know what you know about logo golf balls, please. I would genuinely like to know. Next. Yeah, unfortunately that bit of the name up there is scuffed. Decent enough logo. Let's see if there's anything else on the ball. No. Nothing else to say what the name would have been. So, no idea what that's supposed to be. Next. And if you do work out what any of these logos are, please tell me the time into the video you're talking about. 
So at the moment you would say at 19 minutes 59 seconds, World President Golf Club is in, and then you know explain the county it's in or whatever information you want to share about it. Just tell us the time into the video you're talking about. That would really help. Thank you. Uh, decent ball. Just need a little bit more clean. Next. Hallamshire. I never heard of it. Hallamshire Golf Club. Nope. Don't think I've ever heard Hallamshire mentioned anywhere before. Not bad. Ball. Next. There's no way I'm going to be able to do all of these in the time I want to do it. So what I'll do is I'll make it. It'll have to be done in two two videos. I'll split this collection into two videos in order to film it all. Silvermere with a nice picture of a swan. That looks like a mute swan. Silvermere, where's that? Wall is used, but logo is decent. Next. Broadstone Golf Club. Where's that? Next. Royal Household. Does that say anything at the bottom of that crown or is that just markings? It's so small. No, it's just dashes, isn't it? Royal Household Golf Club. I have no idea where that is. Callaway what? HX. What does that say? Is that supposed to be D? Is that an A? Diablo. What a strange way to do an A. I think that's supposed to be an A. Diablo. I don't think I've had this type of ball before. That is a weird, weird way of doing it. Next. Farnham Golf Club. Established 1896 with a nice ship logo. That's a nice logo. Like a ship as the trophy. I think that's supposed to be a ship, isn't it? Yeah, I think that is. It's supposed to be like a sailing ship. Um, ball needs a clean. Next. Blackheath Royal Golf Club. Institute. 16... Oh. What does that say? Sorry, that's tiny writing. Institute, and then what's that supposed to be there? And then 16, is that 1608 or 1698? Not sure, but anyway, that's decent enough logo. Gold LS, ball needs a clean. Next, the Wisely with a swan as the logo. Ball is definitely used. Pro V1, I think that's a Bellata ball, but yeah, that's a bit scuffed up. Next. Bear Hills Golf Club, never heard of that. Oh, you can see the picture of a bear, so one or two bears as part of the logo. Bear Hills, where's that? That's on the pinnacle gold, yeah, it's a bit scuffed up in the other parts, but yeah, it's okay logo. Next, Royal Ascot Golf Club, 1887, that's definitely in England. That's why they do horse racing as well, isn't it? So that is decent enough. Well, Bellata Ball needs a clean. Next, Ellington Palace Golf Club, never heard of it, where's that? Used ball, not bad condition. Next, St. Pierre. Not sure where that is. DT True Soft, some of the markings. And again, let me know why you're watching this video. Are you are you also a logo collector? Do you, do you design business logos for a living? Are you into golf? Let me know why you're watching this video. That would be nice to know. Goswick Golf Club, 1890. And that's a picture of a... I think that's supposed to be a crane, the type of bird. I think that's what it is. Okay, ball's good condition actually, that's a good condition one. Next. Oh, that's a nice green woodpecker for the logo. Uh, what does that say? West by Fleet Golf Club, 190, and then the logo has been scuffed. 190 something. And that's a green woodpecker, and again, the logo's been scuffed on there. Uh, that's a shame. 
I do like birds, so that would have been a nice one. Is that white? Is that a scuff or is that actually that shape? Is that part of the logo? I honestly can't tell. No, I think that is scuffed off, isn't it? Right. So the ball's not bad condition, but unfortunately the logo's a little bit scuffed. I would have liked to display that one. Next, North Hants Golf Club. I think I've had that before, haven't I? I recognise that wild boar at the top of the logo. Ball needs to clean. Next, Wentworth. That's a famous golf club. I'm sure I've seen that on TV. Needs a bit of a clean. Yeah, some of this stuff, don't worry, folks. It, it'll rub off with your fingers, most of these. Ball feels good condition. Next, Old Thorns. I think I've had that logo before. So this is the second one. This ball looks a bit more dirty than the other one, I think. It might clean up a bit better than that. Next. And also, if you've got any methods for cleaning golf balls, let me know. Obviously, I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Uh, let me know if you've got ways to make the, these kind of stains and sand stains and stuff. How do you get those off? What do you use exactly? Be as specific as you can, please. The type of scourer you use, the pan scourer, do you use what do you use? I've never used wire wool on a ball. I don't think I would. Royal Automobile Club, again I presume that's the RAC, that, uh, the British company that fixes cars at the side of the road. Uh, let me just check the time. Right, one more minute and then I'm going to stop. So I've filmed half of these, I'll do the other half at another time. Kingswood, 1928 maybe that's supposed to be. Can't quite make that out, that logo is a bit scuffed. Okay. Yeah, another range ball, that's nothing. So another of these hoe bridge things. That's just a range ball. Next, that's a nice OGGS. Presumably that's Golf Society. DT Solo written like that. I don't think I've seen DT Solo written like that before. Slightly different lettering. So can anybody date that ball? What date did they come out looking like that? what year right that's going to be it for this video i've got other things i need to do so i'll film the other half of the balls in a separate video um that'll probably take another half hour to film the, the other half i should think um so please click like if you like this subscribe to me as i said leave comments on the video let me know what you like about the video let me know if you want me to go slower even closer to the ball when i'm filming them let me know what you want open to ideas I may eventually sell my collection of, I've got about a thousand golf balls with logos on now. A lot of them are a lot better condition than these ones. Um, open to offers if I get a decent offer. If not, I'm going to hold on to them. And please keep looking at my other videos. Click on my username, Awesome Full HD Videos. Click on where it says Playlists. Find the Golf Ball Logo Playlist. And that's where I put together, uh, save all the logo golf ball videos. So you'll be able to find all of them. So far I've probably got six to eight online. By the time I've done this I'll probably have about 20 videos to look through. So hours and hours of footage. Um, anyway, for now I'll say thanks for watching. Bye bye.